from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. This is their brand new video card, third generation DirectX 11. We have moved from Fermi, which was the last generation, to now Kepler, which is the new generation. Fermi being a 40 nanometer GPU, and Kepler is a 28 nanometer GPU. This is an NVIDIA reference design board, so this came from NVIDIA. So as you can see, it has an outer shell that says GeForce GTX on it with the NVIDIA logo. The outer shell comes off and it reveals the inside box. Once we take the inside box and open it up, that's where the video card is minus this insert here. So. The video card is placed very well. It came very well protected. Pull out the extra insert, and then we can go ahead and take out the video card. And of course, on the inside it says thank you, merci, danke, grazie, gracias, and a few other languages which I don't know how to pronounce. But the video card comes in an anti-static bag. And once we take it out of that anti-static bag, we can actually see it. It's got a black heat sink on it, NVIDIA logo here. It has a new fan design and a new heat sink design. You can see that inside the review will have some pictures and everything. When you turn it over, you can see it says GeForce GTX. This card, believe it or not, only requires two six-pin connectors. It's a total TDP of 195 watts, actual operating TDP or actual operating voltages is going to be about 170 watts. As you can see, it is SLI ready. Comes on a black PCB board. PCIe 3.0. The front plate itself, as you can see, it has two DVI connectors. It has a display port and HDMI. Now, in the past, you weren't able to run three monitors for 3D surround or 2D surround with one NVIDIA card. With this 680 GTX, you can. But let's go ahead and take a look at some differences here. I'm going to bring out a 580 which is its predecessor. If you look at the 580, you'll see there's only two DVI ports and a mini HDMI. It is also 8-pin and 6-pin, so it doesn't, it requires more power. But you will also notice the difference in size. These cards, this card is about an inch smaller so it's going to have a better heat uh, displacement on it. It will run a little bit cooler than the 580 and it should also have some better power than the 580. All in all, this card itself will retail for about $500. It does take advantage of the newest technologies as in the 28 nanometer process. PCIe 3.0, DisplayPort, HDMI, Dual-Link DVI, and you can use it for SLI. So everyone, this has been a quick overview of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.